Hey, what's up meeples? Welcome to Hero the Meeple where we talk board games and more. I've been spending about the last week painting my new Power Rangers miniatures for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, the Kickstarter phase two. So that's the Zeo Ranger team and the Tommy Oliver Power Rangers. It took me a lot of time. Uh, I worked on them throughout the whole week. I mean, several nights. I, I spent several hours uh, working on painting these guys up. I just wanted to quickly walk you through my process of painting the miniatures. So I hope you enjoy this. Oh, and if you like painting miniatures, let me know down in the comments and make sure to like this video. All right, so how do we get to these beauties? Well, we start by applying a primer. I usually use a white primer, um, depending on what you're painting, but usually use a white primer. I use Rust-Oleum brand, uh, works really well. Uh, especially on plastic minis. So you want to apply it to all of your miniatures. I usually get like a cardboard box or something. I'll place all the minis that I'm painting and I'll take it outside and give it a good spray. You want to make sure you get everything covered as much as possible. They should look something like this when you're done. So now that they're all primed, we want to get them base painted. So you're gonna take your primed minis uh, and you're gonna apply a base color. Uh, the base color is really gonna depend on the most representative color of, for the mini, but you know, this is pretty easy. They're Power Rangers, the Blue Ranger's gonna get a blue base paint. Uh, I use the Apple Barrel paints. There's a lot of good paints out there, but so far these have done me good. I'm not necessarily married to any specific type of paintbrushes, but these work pretty well. So um, you're gonna apply the, your paint to your, your figure. Um, you're probably gonna have to apply several coats. Uh, with the Blue Ranger, I think I did like four or so coats. Afterward, they're gonna dry and look something like this. So now that you've done the base paint and it's dried, you're gonna move on to the detail work, which I'll do here on the Green Ranger. You see I've done that for the other Rangers already. Previously, I've used uh, paint brushes, but now I found paint markers. These work super great. They make it so easy. I, <laughs> I'm i in love with the paint markers. This is my first time actually using them uh, before I just use standard you know, brushes, um, you know, fine brushes to try to get the details, but the paint markers are a lifesaver. They probably saved me several hours um, of work. They're, they're fine markers, so it makes doing the detail really easy. I apologize for my frame here. I didn't realize when I was recording this that it was a little off and my big bulgy hands were kind of in the way, so um, I'll make sure to take note of that for the next time I, I do one of these videos. But you can see making good progress. I used the, the white pen and now I'm using the gold pen to do uh, the Green Ranger shield and um, the rings around his gloves and his, his boots. Um, and you know, so far it's looking great. One thing that I did just want to add uh, when you, that I forgot to mention during the base paint is uh, you want to water down your paint a little bit. Um, so, you know, put some uh, in, in a little paper cup or on a plate or something and then add like a drop of water to it um, that way it doesn't pool in any of the detailed areas of the minis. All right, so just wrapping up the details here on the Green Ranger. Now I'm doing some of the black, uh, his, his visor, um, and, and the silver teeth around his visor and the black visor itself. And then we'll move on. He's actually the last one I did. As you can see, all the other ones, their, their details are complete already. So now we're going to do the shading. Um, this is what's gonna give them uh, more definition than just regular paint. So for the shading, I use this Quick Shade Army Painter brand. Um, it works really well. It's really messy and really sticky, so be careful with it. But you're just gonna wanna take a, a paintbrush and just kind of spot paint some of the more detailed areas of the miniatures. And you're gonna let the shade pull into the more indentations on the mini and then pulling out the shade anywhere that you don't want it to be. Looks great. So you can see we went from this, just the base paint, to adding the details and the shading and getting something like this. And here are the final products. We have the full Zeo team and all of the Rangers, even the Mighty Morphin that I had done previously. But here's this specific uh, group. 
And that's it. Obviously I sped that up really quickly. I would say two additional important things I left out. There's an optional step of doing highlights on the miniatures. Uh, it's called dry brushing. So if you really want to get into painting miniatures, make sure to look that up. Essentially you take a, a brush with very little paint, very little paint on it. And you can kind of just go over the miniature and give it highlights. Basically all the, the points on the miniature that are uh, at the forefront will, will get the highlight on it, making it stand out a little bit more. I felt that for these Power Rangers miniatures, they didn't need it, that they looked really good without the highlight. So I skipped that step. The other important thing that I'll note is the final touch is the final lacquering or kind of uh, putting the, the coating, the protective shield on the miniature so the paint doesn't get damaged afterward. I use Testor spray lacquer. Uh, I use the matte. Um, spray so you can see that when I do the quick shade all the miniatures have like a, a shimmer a shine to them but when I apply that lacquer the, sh the shimmer is gone and that's because I use a matte lacquer um, that's my preference I think that's kind of like a, the industry preference but if you like shiny minis you, you know you don't you can use a, a one with the gloss and that's all for this video please make sure to like subscribe and share I spent a lot of time this last week painting those miniatures and now I'm looking forward to this week playing a lot more board games Games, so you'll be hearing from me soon. All right, meeples, this hero has some gaming to do. I'll see you later.